Hello folks, Eric here back again for another video. Um, just wanted to go over a video that has to do with some new picks that I had and uh, got received in the mail. And those are the Dragon's Heart guitar picks. All right, so I've been using Dragon Heart for a while and now I've wanted to try out some faux picks. And uh, so, those are made of a different kind of plastic. And uh, what I'm going to do is show you guys right now uh, exactly where that is. So if you go to dragonsheartguitarpicks.com slash store or this little uh, email or this mailing address down here on the bottom, dh-gp. Um, I'm going to start using that now because that's a lot less to type in and you do a backslash store in that, you can look at the faux Dragonheart guitar picks, okay? So it's kind of about halfway in between here. So it starts out with the shop here, and you get to go all the way down, some featured products, and some additional stuff, and then you get to the premium Dragonheart guitar pick models. I'm partial to the pure Dragon's Heart guitar pick, and an awesome product. This is my favorite. GT is probably my second favorite and uh, really recommend both of those and some details on what those are made out of and everything and then you got some uh, multi-packs and things like that and mix and match but if you scroll down you come to the faux dragon's heart guitar picks okay now these are coming uh, various colors you have the golden dragon the dragon's blood the dragon's bone and the dragon's scale okay now uh, let me just show you quickly which ones i received this is kind of an unboxing, a re-unboxing, so to speak, because uh, the problem is that I tried to do this on my iPhone and it just did not uh, work. It sent it all digital and it wasn't keeping up with uh, the video. So came in a box like this, a little white box, and you open it up and it comes with a little receipt. It comes with a uh, guitar sticker, which I already have for my Martin case. This could be a good spare or backup. And it comes with the picks themselves. Now. Uh, what I'm going to do is try to make this look as professional as possible, what they look like in the, in the bag here. So let's just pretend I haven't opened these yet. So they come like this, and I like to keep the little tag things here because they have, uh, uh, the, each one's different. I have a few back there on the little shelf there. Uh, they come in different packages, and I like to keep these for a little, you know, souvenir. Now when these originally came in, there's, this is a six-pack. Uh, they were all nicely, you know, sitting in there, and now they're all jumbled up and everything. But I got the dragon, uh, the golden dragon, and the dragon's blood. So, you know, pretend that we just opened that. And they come is a six-pack. Now, I've already been using a couple of them for uh, testing on my various guitars. So we'll just put those aside to let you look at these. Here's the dragon's blood and the golden dragon, okay? Nice colors, all right, very nice. Hope you can see that. Okay, so let's go back to the screen recording real quick and you can see here um, the way to tell what these are made out of. Now, the ones before uh, had the details below them like this. It would be nice if they would show that on their website for the faux dragon's heart picks as well. But well, all you have to do is click on the one you're wanting to look at. So for example, if I wanted to look at the uh, golden dragon color, I would just click on the actual picture here and it would take me to that page and then it has some details about it. Now, I was looking at several different ones and you can kind of see there's kind of a, a frosted look to it. It's kind of not really smooth. It's a little bit of a gritty look to the pick and that's pretty eye accurate. As I look at it here in my hands, uh, it does have that gritty look to it, okay? I'll explain why I'm talking about that here in just a minute. But it says that these picks are part of our Faux Dragon's Heart line made from less expensive yet still high-grade thermoplastic. They will last up to 300 hours each. Okay, so high-grade thermoplastic. Similar to V-Pix that I've been kind of messing around with lately. V-Pix are made of acrylic, and I, I think the guy from V-Pix said that uh, he had the idea from a fish tank or something like that, the, the material the fish tank's made out of. But uh, I'm not sure if this thermoplastic that they're using for the Dragon's Heart faux picks or, thermo, or, or uh, acrylic or not. There's various types of thermoplastics. But I've tested these out and they sound really, really good compared to the premium line. 
I think the main thing isn't really you're, that you're sacrificing tone by getting these picks because the tone is really good to me. It's that you're sacrificing the amount of time that you'll uh, use those. So let's say, for example, the premium heart picks, a lot of them last anywhere from 1,200 to 1,500 hours. And so the, they'll wear out a lot less. Now, my guess is, I haven't had this confirmed or anything like that, is that is between all three points of the pick. So let's say 1,200 hours divided by three. So you get 400 hours on this side, 400 hours on this side, and 400 hours on this side before it starts wearing down really bad. I'm not sure if that's true or not. Myself, working with these picks, I found that the point uh, wears down after about, I don't know, six months, maybe even a year, depending on how much you play. Now, if you play a lot like me, it'll wear down quickly. But if you if you don't play in a lot of gigs and you just you know jam around or whatever every now and then, these picks will last you at least a year. Easy. Uh, the premium line. Now, these faux picks, like I said, I'm just trying these out. don't know how long they'll last. But one thing that I really find amazing about their picks is that the standard point here has a different tone than the more sharpened point here. And sometimes the standard point is, is more mellow while this is brighter. And I've also found that sometimes this is brighter while the point is more mellow. Now, I never use the rounded side. I, I strum with this side for the most part. And I try to wear this out before I even switch to this because it's just more comfortable. Uh, this is more for accuracy. This is more for strumming. And this is kind of a nice blend between uh, accuracy, strumming, and a little bit of attack. But with these picks, the main thing is that it is a high-grade thermoplastic. And they will last up 300 hours. Now notice the way it's worded here. Okay, Made from less expensive yet still high-grade thermoplastic. These picks will last up to 300 hours each. Okay, Let me go back and show you what the dragon's blood says, all right? So if I go back to that, it will show me the description, if I click on this, of the dragon's blood. It's, it's the same wording. Made from a less expensive yet still high-grade thermoplastic. These picks will, picks will last up to 300 hours each. Now, notice you can really see the grittiness, the frosted look on this pick. But if I switch back over and show you the pick holding it, it's not, it doesn't look like that. It's very smooth, and it says still made from the same uh, high-grade thermoplastic. I don't know if they've made this out of a different type of thermoplastic, or they've manufactured a little bit different, but it's very smooth. It's similar to a V-Pick in the sense that it's, it's very grippy. You're not going to really be worried about losing it. it you can you'll hold on to it very nicely. While this one, it's more smooth as far as it's a little bit slicker. But the thumb, the, the engraved logo here, really helps with that. I mean, Dragon's Heart Pick has really thought of everything uh, when it comes to this. Uh, even if the pick is slick, the, the engraving will help hold it in your hand. Now, you can tell the difference here. This one is more of a frosted look. It has that frosted look to it. And it's a little bit blurry on the back uh, when you look at the logo. Whereas this one is very smooth. Okay, And on the back, the logo is more distinct. Okay, so I don't know what happened there. And they have a distinct tone. They have different tones. Those are the two that I decided to order. Now, I've looked at these already, and both of the other picks will say the same thing. They will say, made from a high-grade thermoplastic. Matter of fact, if I go ahead and click on the bone one, the, the dragon's bone color, made from a less expensive yet high-grade thermoplastic, 300 hours each, okay? I can't really tell. That looks kind of smooth itself. It may be Apparently, I'm thinking it's supposed to be the same material, and they're all in 2.5 millimeters in thickness. The claim to fame there is that, yes, they're thick, but the beveled edges are so beveled that it's like playing a thinner pick, like having that control of a thinner pick. And this is probably, you know, I played these for a couple of years now, I think. And this is, you know, one of the better picks, for me, the best pick I've ever used is a Dragon's Heart guitar pick. I just love them. I've finally gotten used to the fact that they're a little smaller than a standard pick, but the downside to that is that when the point does start to wear, I can definitely feel it because my finger, the way I hold my finger and I hold a pick, it's not exactly perpendicular to the pick. It's more of an angle, and you can see that the point and the first finger here are very close to being straight. So if I'm hitting the string and the point wears down, then my string, my finger will be hitting that string as well. And that's what I don't like um, is when the point starts to wear down, I can feel it in my finger and it starts wearing the nail down, not anything bad, but that constant hit to my first finger 
causes my carpal tunnel to flare up like crazy. And uh, if I could have a, a determined uh, feature about the Dragon's Hard Pick that I would change, it would be that they would have also a larger version of the picks, kind of like the Wyvern series have larger versions of the standard uh, design. That would be my only change, really, to these picks, is that I would like from some of them to have uh, an option to being a little bit lighter. So here's the Dragon's Scale Pick, and you can see that it also has that frosted color. Now, the reason I didn't want to opt for this one is because it looks too similar to an original, Dragon's original pick, and I'm afraid I would get it confused, so I didn't want to do that. But it looks like it's going to be about the same thing, so you got four different colors to choose from, and that is what I wanted to talk about today is uh, the unboxing here. As you can see, I have uh, my Breedlove and my Martin guitar hanging up on the wall, and uh, what I'd like to do is, now that I've done the unboxing, I would like to come back next week on next week's video, which will be a video on the sound test of these picks and how they sound, uh, the, the differences, the, the sound characteristics and things like that, how they sound compared to the pure pick, which I use, which is this one. Uh, the original, uh, not the original, but the Dragon's Heart Pure guitar pick, the brown ones. This is one of the very first ones I think that they manufactured for public before they went live is because it doesn't have the name engraved on the back. Nowadays they do. I actually recommended that they do that because it's too hard to tell the difference between the four colors. So I'm glad they implemented that suggestion as uh, I requested on that. So thanks so much for watching, guys. I'm going to get off here and immediately start the next video, which you will be seeing very shortly because I'll be posting it later. So please subscribe to the channel. Please share it with your friends. If you like bluegrass and uh, like what I do here on the channel, please check out bluegrassguitaressentials.com where you can find my full-length course on bluegrass guitar from picking to lead to practice to rhythm to fiddle tunes. Uh, just the essentials that I consider to be the essentials of playing bluegrass guitar like the legends like Tony Rice, Steve Kaufman, David Greer, a lot of those people. Some of those that I didn't really list on the course itself. Other people, you know, uh, greats like uh, Doc Watson, Clarence White, Russ Barenberg. You, you know, we all use kind of like a, a very similar aspects and approaches to playing bluegrass guitar. Uh, and that's what that course is all about. So bluegrassguitarcentrals.com uh, slash DVDs will take you to the DVD and the webisodes, you know, area where you can kind of see a big overview of what each one is. The webisodes are available on Udemy. When you purchase those, you will be able to download them or stream them, and they do have lifetime access. And I just prefer the way that uh, Udemy lays it out. It's a really nice, uh, user-friendly course. It's really easy to navigate. I find that to be, I think, a lot better experience for my audience than just downloading them and not knowing where to go from there. So thank you so much for watching again. Please check out the website, and I will see you on the next video. God bless.